we got Big Papa, and he looks like he's got like half a friend to the left of him. If, <laughs> if, if you look at just Kroto's cam, it makes it look like he's playing against a vampire or a ghost or something. Like he's just invisible. Extra small Papa. Man, I wish my phone wasn't dead. I want Twitch chat. But all right, let's go. So where do you think they're going to start off? Uh, usually uh, you'll see this start, you'll think it starts out on Biofield 99% of the time. Okay. Yeah, just, okay, they're just, they're just going She just doesn't have enough knockback to go to Dreamland, I feel like, you know? But I only, I, I hate it when people are like, oh, picking Dreamland against Gandorf is bad because he lives forever, but it's like, but he never touches you. That stage is so big. But yeah. anyway, so Sheik is definitely always going to want to try and get Gan uh, Basically, whoever corners who wins this match. Oh, that was, that see, was really smart. If, if you're not going to see... Proto staying really grounded, then he's kind of not playing well because you know. He's I think I think he's scared because it looks like he like he knows he's supposed to win this matchup, but he might not know how. Yeah, he's, playing, big, he's playing. But bad. Big Papa, that dare earlier when he got when he got poked at shield was just like an indication that he's played this matchup a lot. Anything that Croto does that doesn't look like uh, what you're supposed to be doing is always a mistake. Like he'll never just randomly roll and stuff. That's supposed to be something. All right, right. forward tilt. Uh, uh, see, so see, he doesn't you actually, know. You actually don't get chain grabs as often as people th yeah. think you do. All right, on the other hand, Ganon gets a really long chain grab on Sheik. Yeah, yes, he does. It's pretty easy to, to do, too. Kroto can't do the chain grab. I know that. The chain grab's pretty easy on Ganon. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Dash tech fair. Just... Should no, hit his down B. You should, uh, yeah, should, you, you should already be. You already should already be off stage, ready to hit Ganon. Like I would, like be off. All right, edge dog. There we go. Good job. All right, those were good needles. All right, so uh, you know, he kind of got bought the first stop, but he made he made a solid comeback right here. And uh, this is the most dangerous percentage for Sheik, you know, when the opponent. Yeah, when like you, when the grab kills you, essentially, the grab's gonna play that at too. Least. But I'm not having uh, everything being crouch canceled. It's bad. Too. Oh, you're you're you mean that percentage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh. Thought he was gonna jab there. Oh, whoa! Is that was that a land cancel? Does jumping backwards with Ganon do that? That's awesome. All right. Yeah, he looks. Shout out to Big Papa with the tech. I'm, I'm taking everything. <laughs> what a reason. Uh, Ganon always seems to have the perfect jump heights to where he's like canceling everything when he lands. You know, that's why he's. So I, yeah, me and my friend always joke that this game is perfect designed for Ganon's full hop and Falco's side B. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, I Ooh, feel that like was so cool. He did a down smash backwards, and it actually just dodged the grab entirely. Oh man, you can't be missing those fares. You're, you're just gonna lose. You're gonna eat a lot of percentage because Big Papa's not gonna let you get away with that for free. Get the fare off. If you Good notice, job, yeah. if you notice, Kroto's doing a lot of stuff to uh, like counter up, like a dash, a dash up. But Ganon can't do that, so like he'll just do like a nair in place. All right, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganon's just get, not doing. Just get, just get percentage. <laughs> like if you don't know the, if you don't know the grab, just, just get the percentage. I agree with the up tilts. Those were good. All right, dash tech. Up tilt. Up air. Bear. Aw. Oh. Well. And smash. Okay, that's good. Keep him in the corner. That's a good way to, like, stop Ganon in general. Just keep him in the corner. Basically, Ganon's going to fight towards center, and nope, you let him back towards center. This is when Ganon... Oh, well, Ganon's above you. Never challenge Ganon directly below... Uh, oh, nice. Never challenge Ganon when you're directly below him. You always want to be to, like, the 45-degree angles on either right. side. Uh-oh. You're... If, yeah. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like playing characters that can't come down. Am I really versus you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. look at look at you. Did you tell Papa? Kelly about it? No. Let's go, Papa. He definitely has uh, some momentum. Proto's a choke artist too. That was supposed to be short hop or or thrown later. That was he should have hit that though. Okay. See, uh, okay, I was just about to say uh, he doesn't look like he's doing any Ganon tech from the edge, but then he just went and did two well, in a row. So. Oh no. Uh, oh, see, no. that should just be a jab when you're unsure there. Oh, that was, that was sneaky, it. that was sneaky. Yep, that's it. Wow. Big Papa definitely clutching that one out. Crota probably going back. He's that kind of player. Okay. That's understandable. Uh, Crota didn't do that ba like badly. He did pretty well. He just needs to like clean up a couple of The whole first stock, he basically wasn't playing the game, too. So. Yeah. Basically he just, he just played from behind. Oh, what do you know? Welcome back. Like... Uh, it, it's like he didn't even really get outplayed. He just rolled the full first stock and just got hit by Ganondorf. Yeah. Okay. All right, I gotta get off. See you guys. Oh, this is a good match. I mean, Carter's gonna win, but I mean, Crota lost game one. So. What? I mean, he didn't do anything for the whole first stock. He just rolled around a lot. This is game two? Yeah. 
Yo, I can't. I called. I called him running back in Battlefield 2. So it's always, it's always fun. Yeah. So Crudo's like been doing really well lately, and like Big Papa hates Sheik, so I just assume you know. Well, Crudo Big Papa win. doesn't switch characters. He knows his matchups. Yeah. He's not really particularly bad in any matchup. I mean, Big Papa's had a pretty good season. If people all know, he's been beating me and Jay. His positive record is against us. So. I mean, he beats me whenever I'm drunk, so there's always that. Similar situation with me and Jay. I had one weekly where I lost a sword dancer and Papa, and I was like, I wonder if just no one will know if I just walk out right now. No one would know, dude. No one knows even if you do well. It's great. I'm like, well, at least no one's going to make fun of me. Oh. That's the best thing of no one caring about you. Having no fans, dude, if you let them down, you don't let anyone down. I know, right? All you do is let yourself down. You can live with that. I have like three fans. I'm your fan, dude. Oh. I'll root for you as long as it's not me. I got Sunshine, I got Odie, I got Papa, and then I got OC Boys, and that's about it. Alright, let's go Crudo. Oh, Crudders are... No, no, uh, is he gonna chain grab? No. Yeah. I actually really like that. I would not I would've just jabbed and tried to re-grab. Just troll. That's what I do. That, that's how I feel against like Ganon too. Okay. Up tilt sick because of the double hitbox though. It's so tricky sometimes. Let's go. What's Proto gonna? Oh wow! Optimal. He always up smashes, but that was like. I'm just surprised Proto knows this matchup because it's the only Papa, right? The, the... Yeah, but uh, I've played this matchup with him a little bit. Okay. But not not enough to where he should know things really. Right. But he's played with Papa enough. Uh, Should have just jab there. Well, I don't know. Papa, Papa needs to gamble right now. I guess. This is game. when I always go for like. This is why I always go for risky stuff when I'm down three stocks to one. Because if you play tight, you can win two stocks to one, but you can't really win three stocks to one unless they choke out. So I always just would gamble for something like that. I was just, smart. I was just space by ledge, nine gimp. I just, I just play really late. I'm just like, I want to win. Well, maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it might be different with Peach because you can actually like. I can't approach, and like if I go for it, sometimes I just die, so I'm like, I don't know, dude. Alright, Big Papa going with the hard, with the old tried and true. Now he's getting hit, though. That's yeah. a re that's a, another reason why it's so difficult to play behind against Peach, because certain characters can just trade their way to a victory if they're up enough. Ganon can do that, um, but only if, if he's playing safe enough. If he tries to go for stuff, he can get bodied. It's actually kind of the same with Peach. Never mind. Yeah, Peach I, is I the best at it. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah, like being a Fox player. Like whenever I'm down three stocks to one, I'll just gamble because I can't win any. If I play yeah, but, some, I but, some, but if you know they're trying to trade you out, you can sometimes just make a hard read and just kit their moves. That's true. Yeah. That's what Colin does. Anytime I'm like super up against him, he starts calling out everything. He's like, if I don't call you out, like I'm gonna lose. So same thing you just basically said. Just be risky when when you're down. All right. So, Crudo is, you know, he's just tightening up. He's like, I'm not going out to Big Papa yet, dude. What do you think about this choice? I mean, what was banned probably was Yoshi's story? Yeah. I don't really know about stages in this matchup, but definitely Yoshi's banned. Because Yoshi's is always Ganon's home stage, dude. I mean, Dreamland's like the other neutral stage, I guess. So, maybe this Really? Is I mean, I still say... I would say Dreamland's slightly better for Ganon, and uh, uh, Battlefield's probably the more even one. Oh! That's it. Oh! oh. He's done. Oh my god. Crudo even laughing at that. He's like, you got Crudo me, definitely has a breaking point there, where he loses focus. Yeah, uh, all you have to do to beat Crudo is talk to him. I know that's scummy, but if you really if you really just want to beat Crudo, start, start talking to the man. Will he hit this tab? Of course. Of course, you hard DI way in the tech. It's not. It, no, everyone knows how to deal with the tree nowadays, dude. Oh, no slot. Oh my god. Oh, nice up air. I, I didn't. I didn't think it. Come, I didn't think it'd pop out in time. I don't None think Papa should be fighting in here. I really don't. Unless he's gonna spam jabs and grabs. No, dude. He's he's getting away with. He's getting away oh with my it. God. Big Papa. Ah, <laughs> uh, Crota doesn't like this. Crow needs five more needles. He needs to hit the man. There you go, champ. That's the thing. You can't you can't let Ganon drag out his stocks. It's like Peach in that way, where he's just going to kill you eventually. Like it's an inevitability, even if his punish game isn't good. 
He just needs to call you out like once off the, off stage. Right. That's it's every that's every character, but it's weird because think, I'm thinking well, in terms of my his character. punish game's not as guaranteed, but when he does get it, it's it, it's much more efficient. Yeah, yeah uh, it reminds me kind of like a Marth is kidding. It's like kind of the same feeling when when you're just letting Ganon keep coming back. Like, have to kill Proto's him. really good at that approaching the shield. Yeah, I guess it's a sheep thing, but. No, Crudo is very good at like this very whiff punishing style, which I feel like should just decimate Ganon, but like I think he's trying to be a bit too aggressive. Well, you could kind of play around that when you got range, though, you know, because you can just max range everything. Yeah, Crudo kind of loses if you like if you just dash back uh, when he's trying to approach. If you see one thing about this game that Ganon players take advantage of, and almost no other uh, character players do, is like rolls. You know, like. Yeah, well, I mean, when, rolls are underrated, I feel like. When your movement's so limited, like, you just have to roll sometimes. I feel like I do Peach, too. Like, you just roll away from the Ooh. problem. Yeah, while Peach's rolls aren't that good, she, they seem to end quickly, so she can down smash pretty fast. Or it's at least weird. shield. I feel like well, many times you roll to approach me and, like, hit me with a down smash. Like, oh, what is um, this? that's bad. That's terrible. But I learned it, I guess, by playing Pi's Marth back in the day, because roll and down smash just destroyed his Marth. And, like, I, I, I like, it's a really dumb habit uh, that I have. But it's like super trolly, so I kind of use it still. Well, when the roll gets past you on your backside, it's yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. That, that's 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 how you speed pie. Back to this match. Uh, Papa Pie's needs a back air. Yeah, yeah, that's what he needs. She's forward facing, so oh, all right, oh, all right, big Poppy coming in with the clutch. Big so Papa, good. good the big, way he Big hit Papa with that. is clutcher than than I thought because he he's clutched a few sets in his lifetime. Yeah, he's clutched a few minutes. Oh, bad spot there for Ganon. Should have rolled. Oh, reverse, oh, reverse. Oh, up no, he didn't reverse. There. Yeah, reverse, reverse. All right, well, GG's. Crudo barely winning that one.